in in BL series or in BL projects just like this one uh yung mga actors usually or most of the time uh, uh, kapag may nakakapanood naka-question yung gender diba um alam naman natin yon uh, sexuality sexuality yes oh exactly i i want to ask each one of you if if you are already prepared for that na ma-question yung gender mo and uh, if yes uh, how are you going to handle it So this is a question for the whole cast. Yes, yes, yes. The whole the male cast, all of the cast. Yeah. Uh sorry, just uh mild correction. Uh it's questioning one's sexuality as opposed to questioning one's gender because when we question one's gender we're questioning if someone is trans, is female, male or how they identify themselves as. Just I mean for for future questions in that aspect. Okay. Uh, for me I have already come out as demisexual, yeah. meaning I, I I identify as someone who If I fall in love, then I have sex. But if not, eh, it's not really something that really appeals to me. Uh, so, to be honest, I don't really mind what people say about me. I stopped really caring. And what's great about that is now the world has become a more accepting place for everyone of every color, every gender. And I'd like to say this that during Pride Month, you know, I salute every single one of these beautiful individuals who you know are strong enough to come and be who they are and who they want to be in life and really want to you know portray their color in that lgbt flag whatever it may be and i salute every single one of them oh okay uh, marty may follow up question lang ako um uh, this mo- this series how, pa- pa- how many bl series mo na itong ginawa Mm, the first one was an LGBT series. I think I've done a few plays. I okay. did one called Slumber Party in 2012. Yeah, I've watched that. Yeah, and then I did um, I did a play called Angels in America, which is ironic that my first straight play was a gay character. Okay. And then I did Unlocked. And ito yung next yung next uh, LGBT role but what's great is that you know I'm able to just jump back and forth between the roles just like uh, straight people who identify as straight can portray gay roles people who identify as uh, demisexual as trans as whatever they want to portray can be whoever they want to be because we are actors and we portray roles that we need to portray like my next role for Viva Max actually is a character that is a serial rapist for wow. Virgin Forest I okay. raped six or seven women so in the end of the day it's all about what our character in that given moment is living not about what the actor enjoys doing in their free time okay okay Marky uh, very well said thank you I I have one question but this one um addressed for for all the pairs yung cast nung Love at the End of the World. Um ano yung extreme part nung character ninyo yung somehow feeling nyo hindi nyo talaga magagawa in real life. It could be the way yung approach yung mga sex um sex related activities or maybe on how he deals with his um relationships. Yeah. Well, let's start with the oh. am. As again, yeah. yes. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Sir Albert. Magandang <laughs> gabi. Sa akin yung yung, yung pinaka mahirap, yung ano, yung may blow job scene kami ni Elijah. Tapos prior to that kasi yung yung scene namin, mag- magkapatong lang kami ni Elijah so hindi kailangan ng plaster. Pero nung blow job scene na Tuhog yung scene, and then dapat tuloy-tuloy lang siya, and then walang plaster si Eli. Masyadong matapang po si Eli. Hindi po kinaya ng tapang ko. So talaga nung kami na yung magsushoot, direct, hindi ko po talaga kaya. Medyo malalapit na po yung pototoy ni, ni Eli sa akin. So I think yun yung pinaka sa akin in lahat ng sex scene talaga. Pero okay naman. Kakaloka ka doon yan. <laughs> Elijah! Ano ba yan? Okay, go. Ano naman? Uh, e- Elijah, anong sagot mo dyan? <laughs> um, para sa akin po yung 
Sa sex scenes din po talaga yun, yun po talaga yung mahirap sa uh, episodes. Kasi parang, yun nga, first time mo siyang gawin, tapos first time mo rin mamit yung partner mo. So parang hindi ka masyadong sway, pero... Yan yung sinabi pala ni Am na, <laughs> na wala, wala akong plaster, so naghanap kami ng face mask na lang para... Hindi lang sana yung panakit. <laughs> pero sobrang, nakakaya kasi siyempre may yung cost of delay ka. So yun. Krista? Hello, uh, ako po, ano, uh, usapang plaster, yung pinakamahirap tang pagtanggal ng plaster kasi nasasama yung buhok, ang sakit, parang <laughs> nagpapawax ka. Tapos, uh, ano pa ba yung mahirap? Basta y- mahirap lahat yung ginawa namin. Yan, yung plaster po para sa akin. Taray naman, sinando mo kami talaga, Kristo. <laughs> Opo, kasi may pupunta ano, okay, Move please. for uh, move backwards pa para mas may makita pa kami, Char. Naglalakad po ako. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christoph. Gold. Gold. Gold? Hello, 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 hello. Thank you um, sa tanong. Um, ako, para saan yung pinamahirap lang na part ko dun sa sa love at end of the world. Siguro yung underwater scene talaga namin ni Nico Loco. Wala talaga, hindi ko talaga makakalimutan yung mga eksena nun. Kasi yun talaga, first time ko rin mag, mag-siray na talaga dun. Eh, dislocate na si itong left shoulder ko. So, hindi ako pwedeng lumangoy ng ganun. So, play safe ako pag nagsiswimming ako. Then dun, eh, ang hirap. Tapos yung agos pa ng dagat, di ba? Iba, iba pa siya sa pool. Buti na lang ito si Nico Loco, ano siya, magaling siya mag-swim. Tapos talagang alagang alaga niya ako sa ano, pag nasa, nasa tubig kami. Kasi maano ako eh, mabilis ako malagutan ng hininga eh. Well, ayun, yung underwater si namin ni Nico Loco, bigat. Sobrang hirap sa akin na gumanan ganun ng pabalik-balik na lang eh. Tapos ngawit. And, kasi yung iba namang mga eksena, yung mga sex scene, love scene, wala. All goods naman sa amin ni Nico. Yun lang talaga, yung underwater scene namin, tapos yung mga breakdown scene namin ni Nico. And naka, ang galing din ni Nico loko eh, kaya medyo smooth yung part namin sa episode 3. Yeah. Nico. Thank you. Nico. Yeah, with gold, the, probably the most difficult part was the underwater scenes. Uh, pero yeah, kasi lifeguard ako dati, ibang kwento yan. But, but uh, I was a lifeguard. I was able to help Gold because he had wearing a fin on his leg. Uh, so, Mabigatsha. The other hard part was this one. Uh, grab it though. Is, I say, Hubad ako sa maraming scenes. And, mm-hmm. as scenes in the water, Hubad ako. And my mga uh, producers and uh, organizers from Mindoro, they wanted to watch the shoot. Gusto nila para orin, right? So, pero, so we're on the boat and then they're on the boat, parang trailing us, right? And, uh, um medyo medyo ako at the time because who bad ako that was they want to watch so i was like a bit uncomfortable and i was like kind of waving them to go back go back <laughs> that was at one point i think i dropped something on the ground and then i bent over so pretty much i stuck my ass right out to the whole boat that was watching so para parang nakita nila ang, ang butas ng <laughs> And that was the most uncomfortable part, and that would never happen in, well, it did happen in real life, I guess. <laughs> you know. Rex? Hello. Rex? Apo, hi, Miss G. Ayun. Uh, sa akin po nahihirapan ako sa, yung sex scene kasi dito ako yung ginawang babae, so, yan, mahirap po sa akin yung mga pinapagawa ni Direk. So, kailangan muna nilang ipakita bago po namin gawin ni Cristo. Yun. Yun lang. Marky. Okay. Um, ito na lang. Dahil sinagot nila lahat norm, uh, ng, ng mga ano, mga sex scene mostly. Uh, yung pinaka mahirap sa akin sa totoong buhay as opposed to sa character ko would be to live my life with for someone kasi caretaker ako dito. Tapos inaalagaan kong isang parang, let's just say, sponsor. At um, parang di ko alam kung kaya ko gawin yon Kaya kong ibigay yung buhay ko sa isang tao na ganun. Na ako ang mag-aalaga at ako ang gagawa ng lahat. 
So, in essence, as an actor, as Marky, yun ang mahirap. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ayan. And lahat naman na kasagot na, no? Ayan. I think And, so. Lahat. Yeah. yeah. Taas na lang kay Direk, kay Direk, ganyan. I've always been mentioning this na talagang yung favorite output ko talaga sa'yo at talagang um, parang isa sa mga nagmulat sa'kin sa mga um, gay-related movies was yung Ben and Sam. Oh, Ken think, Ken. Oh, ma, true. Di pa? Palagi ko sinasabi yun sa'yo, talagang super favorite ko to. Ganyan. And I'm... Isa ako sa mga natuwa because of your comeback and all. And I was really expecting na parang gay and some level. Pero ito talagang itinaas mo. Ganyan. Talagang hindi talaga nagpakabog and all. Ganyan. Yes. Pero sa sa part mo ba, gan, um, with, with regards to telling a story about about LGBT and all, um, paano mo minimeasure yung yung success mo in terms of being able to communicate talaga kung ano yung message na gusto mong ma- gusto naming makuha as audience um okay um siguro because um just to with with all humility kasi i learned it from my mentor si Sir TV na sometimes it only takes one person in the room na ma-move mo, then it already means your success. Pero syempre, in reality, we always talk about box office, ticket sales. Pero ako as a filmmaker and artist, uh, like with Love at the End of the World, um, we made we made so many conversations, discussions online to the point na sa Reddit kami, may drama list. And um, hindi kasi ako na-offend sa, ano eh, sa negative comments or may sasabing masama because at the end of the day, Once you do something like Love at the End of the World, it becomes a public domain. It becomes a, a property of who everyone who, who is watching it. So basically, kung public siya, may karapatan siya magsalita about your, about your art, whatever. So it's subjective and everything. So uh, sa akin, success once you make, you start a conversation. Once you start a discussion. So um, I had so I, I share it to my cousin, to my to my staff, na yung mga conversations about maganda yung sinabi ni Marky, like, sa in real life, hindi niya kaya kung kaya niya i-devote yung buong buhay niya sa isang tao, na sa conversation din yan sa online, na yung nagtatalo na sila, if it's moral or not, between Renner and Marky's character, tapos about, um, you know, um, the very sensitive suicidal uh, arc of Nico Lopez's character, So, para sa akin, yun yung measurement ko ng success. Once I start a discussion, a conversation, and it becomes a conversation aboard for everyone and not just for one person. So, it's, 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 it's basically out of my hands anymore. So, sa akin, yun yung success ko. And we've reached so much discussion and conversations around the world for love at the end of the world. 